So as promised, we're here with Aaron from Red Buffalo. How are you this morning? I'm doing really Aaron? well, thanks. How are you? I'm doing great. It's not often you get to see me on this side of the TV magic. No, is it? it's fun. It's fun to see everyone's different role in life. You know, as an owner of a coffee shop, you'll see me doing all those different roles too, and it's fun to see what every piece takes. Absolutely. And tell me a little bit about your coffee shop. Well, we're right in Silverthorne, just a quarter mile north of that I-70 Silverthorne interstate exit. So central to anything you want to do in Silverthorne, whether it's an event at the pavilion, you're taking the summit stage, or you're at the rec center, or you're shopping at the outlets. We're your perfect place to just stop in and get fueled up for the day. We focus especially on our specialty coffees and our loose leaf teas. And what I love about that is we have such a passion for it. We can geek out on all of it. And we do rec we recognize that some people it's like 6.30 in the morning and they can't handle the science yet. Yeah. And we're okay with that. We'll get you your drink, we'll get you on your way to work or wherever it is. Very good. And, yeah. and today you brought me a little something, speaking of your loose leaf teas. Yes, yeah, so I brought you our jasmine tea, which I love this jasmine tea because it's very floral and it doesn't taste a burnt like some jasmine teas can if you oversteep them because it's a nice delicate tea. I made myself what's called a, a London Fog, which is Earl Grey tea with uh, cream and sugar in it, yep. like half cream in it. And we love taking pride in our ingredients and knowing where we're sourcing them from. So we only use loose leaf teas. And I don't mean like loose leaf and then stuffed in a tea bag still, yeah. but brewed in a big infusing basket. And then our coffees too, we take a real pride in where we're sourcing those ones from, knowing that they're going directly to farmers and to farmers who are doing their work to have gender equality within their farms and education for the families and doing the environmentally conscious things when they're farming. So not just coffee and tea, there's a huge level of awareness into every step of what you're there doing business-wise and then... Yeah, we realize that you have this opportunity when you are a business person to really set a good example. And so that's for us sourcing our materials and then also being a member of the community. We love our town of Silverthorne. We try to be involved with it as much as we can. Um, there's a couple of events coming up. We have the REI grand opening, so you can expect to see some red buffalo coffee and tea at the grand opening this weekend for REI. And, and what, then... What is that both days, Saturday and Sunday? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, and then okay. May 20th is town cleanup day. So every town will have their own cleanup day. Mm -hmm. It's a really fun opportunity to get out, meet your neighbors, clean up all the stuff that kind of melted through the snow yeah. over the winter. And that's May 20th. And in Silverthorne, it'll meet at Rainbow Park. Right at Rainbow Park. And that's... Yeah you know, walking distance from Red Buffalo there. It is. Across the Blue River. Right. And you're right there. Apparently it's still good fishing weather, snow or snow or no snow. Yeah, the great thing about the water below the dam there is it never freezes, so right? you guys have, you can tell us a little bit about that back patio you have there right on the river. Our patio is so nice, because we have the front one that looks at the Gore Range, and then we have our back patio that is literally 10 feet from the river. And especially once that water starts to rise with the snow melt, it'll get really close to our yeah. back patio. But uh, even our poor little, uh, our crocids came up that we planted last year. And because it's fun, because we compost all of our disposables at the Summit County Resource Allocation Park. And then I buy that soil back for our back <laughs> gardens. So it's a full cycle. But our crocids that came up last week, I think they're a little upset now. Yeah, they're probably snow covered. Yeah, that was yeah, before there, the right storm. There. We'll post another one on our Facebook page <laughs> about what they look like this morning. Did they, are they still alive? Did they, did they hold? They seem sturdy for now. Okay, that's good. And they look pretty when they're covered in snow as well. They do. It's, it's that weird, you know, winter and July sort of sensation. Yeah. So you got a heck of a lot more going on there than just tea and coffee. You guys yes. are involved in the community. You're involved in ecological, ec ecologically sound practices. Yes. You know, you're, you're composting, recycling, just, you know, as close to zero waste as anybody we can are. be. We are. Yeah. I think we, we only throw out probably like less than 5% of what we have, have leave the shop goes out and waste into a landfill. Only about 5% of it does. And we're, we're really conscious about that because we know that coffee isn't 100% dependent on the environment. It's a product that grows, and so we need to take care of it. Fantastic. But you can come on in and you can ask us any sort of question because we will happily answer them all. Perfect. And you guys are very knowledgeable there. You know, if people want to stop in, you know, experience some of that knowledge from your baristas yes. or run into you yourself, where, right? where should they go? They should just come right on in to Red Buffalo, 358 Blue River Parkway in Silverthorne. You can also stalk us on Instagram or Facebook as well. Perfect. You guys are very active on social media. Yes. And Aaron is here also with us every Monday. So be sure to tune in every Monday and you'll mm -hmm. get some great coffee knowledge and tea knowledge and learn a heck of a lot about what's going on here in the community. Thanks for coming.
coming in Thanks and chatting with me. Thanks for having me yeah. today. Like I said, it's a pleasure to be yes. on this side of things with you. So right, that means you, you get to have the warm beverage. I do. It you get the morning pick happen. me up. Yeah, and yes. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for tuning in as well. Thanks for spending time with Aaron and I here. We will be back with more Summit Sunrise, so stick around. Don't go anywhere.